Yo, what's up, guys? It's been a while since I last posted a tutorial, but today I have an awesome logo animation tutorial for you. First, let's check out the preview. Want this? Now that you've seen the preview, let's jump into the tutorial and create this step by step. Select vector, drawing and draw a shape just like I'm doing. Change its color to white. Add a circular shape and place it over the drawn shape just like I'm doing. Hold the eye icon to select both layers, then group mask them. Add a circular shape and position it as shown in the video. Add a new circular shape. Place it over the previous one and make it slightly smaller. Then select both circular shape layers and group mask them. Repeat the same process with the group layers. Go to Move and Transform, tap here to adjust the pivot point, and position it at the bottom of the shape. Then go to the rotation icon and rotate it to 90 degrees. Add beat marks at 0, 0, 0, 0, 45 and 0, 0, 0, 0115. This will help you with shape animation. Make five more duplicates of the group layer. Follow the same steps I'm showing in the video. You can now see the result. Now add a triangle shape. Go to Move and Transform. Select Rotate and rotate it to minus 180 degrees and change its color to white. Add a circular shape and place it over the triangle shape as shown in the video. Then select both layers and group mask them. Set its size between 80 and 90. Adjust the pivot point to the bottom of the shape. Then position it as shown in the video and rotate it to negative 90 degrees. Now go to the rotate icon and add a keyframe at the first beat mark and add a second keyframe with negative 160 degrees at the second beat mark. Adjust the curve like this. If the shape is not in its position, follow the same process as shown in the video. Now add a rectangle shape and set it to full composition area. Then select all layers and group mask them all. Now it's time to create your logo name. At the 000039 000 beat mark, add a text layer and type the first letter of your logo name. Then customize it just like I'm doing in the video. Adjust 
adjust the pivot point to the bottom of the letter. Duplicate the text layer for each letter of your logo name. My logo name has seven letters, so I'm creating seven duplicates. Position all the letters just like I'm doing in the video. Select all the text layers and remove the unwanted parts. Select the first letter, go to rotation, and add a keyframe at the second beat mark. Then add a second keyframe to 90 degrees at the beginning. Set the curve as shown in the video. Select scale, add a keyframe at the second beat mark, and add the second keyframe to zero at the beginning. Set the curve as shown in the video. Do the same process with the other text layers. Add a rectangle shape at the 00, 039 beat mark and set it to full composition area. Remove the unwanted parts. Select the rectangle and all text layers, then group them. Adjust your text with the logo as shown in the video.
add a blob shape at the first beat mark and set its color to white. Then adjust the position as I'm doing in the video and make sure its size is 75. Make a duplicate of it. Adjust it as I'm doing in the video and set its size to 85. Do the same process one more time and set its size to 65. Remove the unwanted parts of them. Select the first layer, go to scale, and add a keyframe at the end. Then set the second keyframe to zero at the beginning. Adjust the curve as shown in the video and copy it. Select rotation and add a keyframe at the beginning. Then set the second keyframe to four times, 350 degrees at the end. Do the same process with the other blob layers. Paste the copied curve. Set the second keyframe rotation to 3 times 350 degrees. Set the second keyframe rotation to 2 times 350 degrees. Add a rectangle shape and set it to full composition area. Then select all layers and group them. Your logo is almost ready. Add beat marks at 0000020, 000100, and 0001035 to make your logo animation easier and smoother. Go to rotation and add a keyframe to negative 45 degrees at the beginning. Then set the second keyframe to negative 80 degrees at the first beat mark and adjust the curve like this. Rotate to 30 degrees at the second beat mark and set the curve between the second and third keyframe like this. Rotate to negative 10 degrees at the third beat mark and set the curve between the third and fourth keyframe like this. Rotate to 10 degrees at the last beat mark and set the curve between the fourth and fifth keyframe like this. Set the rotation to zero degrees at the end and adjust the curve like this. Now go to scale and add a keyframe at the first beat mark. Then set the second keyframe to 6000 plus at the beginning. Adjust the curve like this. Set the scale to 1600 at the end. And adjust the curve like this. Go to effects and add the fade and out effect. Set in to zero and out to 0 0.30 seconds. Then add the soft glow effect and set diffusion to 2.00 and outer glow to 20%. Now your logo is completely ready. Congrats, you made it to the end. Now you have a cool logo animation. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you in the next video.